you need a point there. Yeah. Tell me, tell me what the characteristics of the square that you can understand. All the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. Okay, so how are you going to show me that all the sides are the same length? Well, Claire, you would just... Um, no, why don't we just do this? Yeah. And then fold it in. Yeah, exactly. And then reach out one. That was all we had. Yeah. Yeah. And what was the other part you see? Of the square, all the angles are the same. Well, I got it. <laughs> how did you, how did you well, we did use it with the book, but then it seemed yeah. a little bit like we could all do that and then go like measuring a cupboard with your arms. Yes, yeah. this, this is this is a bit iffy, isn't it? But we'll we'll we'll, yeah. we'll pick. But what I'm interested in is, um, are you saying that this is a shape that has only two numbers? No, it has four. It has four. So. I said, could you make a shape? Well, we were doing a rhombus and moving from the side to the rhombus. Would you have to do that to make it drop? Push it, I should. Yeah, make it drop. And how could you convince me that's a shape? Would you have to do that? Would you have to do that? No, that's not one. That didn't work. Okay, so we've got we've got a rectangle. We've just got only two lines of symmetry. So, what sorts of things happen to the steering wheel there on the road? Yep. Really good fun. It was nice because often at school you don't get time to actually work through problems with other teachers. Like if you if you have a really hard problem that you want to test out on a set, you can't take it to them and go, how, how would you approach this? Because they're marking or they're stressed or they're planning or they're busy or they're in meetings. And today we just got to play around with maths and it was really nice. It was really good fun. Um, so. um, one thing I'm definitely going to use next week actually, and also seeing them in action, so that's something I'm not too sure about, how to actually implement the ideas, so, as opposed to taking from a website, you know, having a demonstration of how it might actually pan out over an hour, is really useful. And is there anything that you think we should do differently or keep the same if we were to do it again? Um, I think it's really good actually, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I, like, we'll... I like the timing of it, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a time of year when the pressure is a little bit off you, yeah. um, possibly maybe a week later for some people finishing off their NQT, but also it's a time when the school's more likely to let you go because of the pressure's off a little bit and the time is really So I want to know, apart from the brownies, what else have you got out of this course? Sorry, I Naomi. Photos, and then yes. You just got slightly moving. I got over the really interesting ways of approaching problems and working with groups. Okay. And Lillian. Uh, yeah, seeing the um, tiles actually um, being being um, done by local schools and seeing how they've worked um, and seeing and then one idea to them, which has been good. So hopefully we can take back to our own school. My own school, definitely. Brilliant. So it's not only sharing in your own school, it's sharing it with other people as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, I've really enjoyed the day. It's been great to do some like oh, real, work on some real maths problems with other people who also like to do maths as well. I think the way that it was presented gave us an idea of how to present it to our students too, which was really nice. Yeah. Okay. So do you think you'll be able to use some of these tasks in your own school? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. We've really discussed ways of presenting it to different levels of students and how we could actually bring it into the classroom. And adding the support or the extensions or whatever needed depending on the level. So it's been really good that way. Okay. And do you think we should run it again next year?